Weekend and public holiday penalty rates could soon be slashed, a move that would have a huge impact on the paychecks of thousands of Australian workers. Ross is back with us now. Ross, uh, this is part of a workplace deal in South Australia. Could it go nationwide? I reckon it could and probably should. I mean, let's be honest, we live in a 24-7 community at the moment. And the fact of the matter is if you go through many of your capital cities, Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, wherever it might be, you see shops and cafes closed on the weekend because those employers have made the decision that they can't pay their staff the 150 or 200 per cent loading that they need mm. and then try and make some money for themselves. In many cases, there are actual stores that open over the weekend only because they feel as though they've got to keep their doors open and keep their customers okay, there's satisfied. An example there. Let's go here to what happened in South Australia. So say, for example, this is through the Shop Distributive and em Allied Employees Association, in other mm. words, the shop assistants. So previously, the penalty loadings, if it was a Sunday, a worker would get 100 per cent loading, in other words, double time. Or or on public holidays, they would get triple time, 150% loading. So the proposed deal is in, on Sundays, they're going to get 50% loading, and on public holidays, they will get that double time. Now, the idea about this is clearly those workers who are currently getting these higher rates had to get something to be able to trade it off and get these lower rates into the future. But also what it means is in South Australia, they decided that because the unemployment rate's so high, it wasn't a good thing because a lot of these cafes and a lot of these weekend traders mm. simply weren't making the money to keep themselves open. And that's the reason why this deal has been done. So if we move, move one forward, you can see what will happen to the wages of those people. So a full-time shop assistant, this would be, the current rate they're getting is about $703.90 per week. That will go out to $760 per week. That's a trade-in for those people to work weekends. Mm. But then you get to the next argument, which unions have run for years and years, and that is when a person works weekend, they're disrupting their weekend period to be mm. with family and all that type of thing, and so really they should be paid extra. My argument is for many families, especially with childcare mm. around being an issue, many people deliberately work weekends mm. because they understand that's a way in which another partner might be able to look after the well, kids. Well, you're saying it's OK, and look, I, I've, I've sympathised with small businesses out there um, because paying it, those extra extra wages sure. when, they're, when they're already tight is difficult. However, this is eroding um, one of the workers' rights, and this is why the union is so upset about it. It is a fundamental right of a worker, if they work weekends or work a night shift, to be paid penalties. Well, the only thing I would say, especially weekend work these days, remember some people deliberately work weekends mm. because of what I was explaining about childcare. Mm. The second thing is that you'd have to say right now, with the amount of tourism we've got in our country, with the amount of hotels and all sorts of things, what is now become a 24-7 industry? If you look at, say, the internet, when you've got retailers trying to compete with online, yeah. online works 24-7. I understand that, but I'm worried about workers being taken advantage of. Well, I don't, but in this particular case, the workers are being paid more. They've traded off if you like, for this. And they've agreed to this in South mm. Australia. Now, I think this will ultimately go nationwide. It really should be pushed harder by the, by the federal government, I think. But certainly on a state basis, it could end up being that all the states... Well, there's no it. way in hell that the federal government's going to push it. Why not? Because it'll be more unpopular. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, Ross. No problem. Uh, yeah, maybe a way of the future there. We'll see.